I'd always really liked languages at school. Languages had always been my favourite subject. I'd also been lucky enough to visit China and it just seemed like the obvious, the obvious choice to me. I'd studied Chinese before in school, but I'd always kind of considered myself more of a humanities, English history person. Looking at the course, seeing it actually had a lot of those parts that I so enjoyed at school, like literature and history, etc. And also you came out of it with this amazing skill, which is being able to speak Chinese. And I think I just thought that was such an amazing opportunity. It's about curiosity. I didn't know anything about China. And I've always found the country, its culture, its history, its literature, its politics, simply, completely fascinating. And that has never gone away. Honestly, I think within the first week, all of my fears were kind of put to rest. Like, I got here, I met my classmates who I love, and I just think it's a really nice atmosphere. It doesn't matter how much you studied before. We have some people that did it for pre-U, some people that have never studied it before. It really caters to all kinds of previous experience learning Chinese. It feels like a close-knit community, and it also feels like quite a unique experience because there's so few of us, you realise that what you're studying is something that not many other people are. So I think that makes it feel quite special. And then you also get a lot of personal feedback and interaction with the lecturers and the people teaching you. Primarily in the first year, you spend it working on language and becoming fluent. I think the point of the course, which I really enjoy about it, is that you're also taking history classes, you're also taking literature classes, film courses. I think you really have a good understanding of not just Chinese, but East Asian history. Like in first year, we have a history course with the Japanese students, so you study Korea, Japan and China all together and how they interlink, etc. So apart from modern Chinese language, there's also classical Chinese language, which is the written language of China and a lot of East Asia over the last 2,000 years or so. And then apart from that, there's a choice of different culture and history modules. So this year I'm studying dynastic Chinese history and then globalisation in China. I'm really excited about my year abroad. It's sort of what we've been building up to for the last two years. And for me, learning a language is all about being able to use it in practice. So I will be going to Beijing University with my classmates where we'll be studying on a course designed for Cambridge students, hopefully having lots of opportunities to travel around China. I'm really excited. I think it'll be really fun to go with members of my course who have become some of my closest friends. Our graduates go to, into finance, into accounting, into law. They work in China, in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, or in London. Some go into in a diplomatic service, into journalism. So I think simply giving our students a set of tools and experiences with which they can have a good career. I would definitely recommend Chinese studies to anyone interested in learning a language or area studies at university. So I think having an understanding of Chinese culture, the East Asian region, and especially Chinese language, is really important.